Okay, so on to my next step. I'm gonna go in with a mist. You guys know that I love my mists, right? Like, if you don't know that by now, then I do. I've been watching both. But, on a serious note, um, I do love my mists. Now, I've got, an, I've got a variety of them. And sometimes I want it because I need some hydration. Sometimes I want it because I want to glow. Sometimes I want it because I need it to set my makeup. I also have mists that do it all. So it's like a 3 in 1, 4 in 1, 5 in 1. I don't know, there are 5 extra reasons for being made. But the point is that when you get onto your nourishment and hydration stage of your nighttime routine or your daytime routine, always go from thinnest to thickest. Okay? Even when you do your 10 to 20 step skincare routine, thinnest to thickest. So sometimes you'll see me spray it at the end, but then that's because it's something that contains that is actually beneficial to me spraying it at the end. But always guys, spray it on so that you can dampen your face. By dampening your face, you are creating like a canvas that will just suck up whatever comes next. So you're kind of like telling your skin, hmm, moisture's coming, and even more is coming now, and you're being suck it off. If you apply it at the end, you kind of seal your face with all your layers. So then what's your mist really gonna do besides give you a glow? And that's it really why I do put my mist at the end, because I want the glow. But in terms of hydration and nourishment, first, not last. So I'm gonna go with a hydrating one. Going to be applying hyaluronic acid later and um, it really works well if you do it this way. Serum and moisturizer. Look at the consistency of this one and then look at this one. Guys, can you see that I actually really like these products? I've been using them. Shout out to Sukin. So I've got the serum. Can you see that consistency? And then the nighttime moisturizer. Can you see the difference in consistency? This is thinner, this is thicker. Okay, this will be applied first. Now I kind of made this difficult for myself so I'm going to have to use one hand. Gentle circular motions. Okay, next one. Moisturizer. This is nice and creamy. Love it. Yes. Down. You can put your serum down there too, or wet your lips. I'm not going to do that right now because it's a bit tricky, but let's believe I do. And your hands. Please, guys, if you didn't see this in my last video, I'm showing it to you again because it's really, really important. I'm not going to put a lip cream on, that's fine. You can just use whatever excess. My lips have been so good since my last glycerine overnight lip treatment. Oh, so wonderful. Now, after you're done with all your moisturizing, you may apply a specialized eye cream or you can just take a little bit of your moisturizer and apply it along the bone very gently. I just take one to two drops and then I dab one on the bone, one on the other bone, and then the balance, I just work it up like that in a patting motion very gently. Now, why am I applying it so low down if it's supposed to be an eye cream? Well, your skin is like 37 degrees, body temperature, right? Based on that, it will cause whatever you are applying to spread. The heat will actually make your product spread better. So if I go and I apply my eye serum or cream or oil or caffeine solution, whatever, if I apply that right underneath, it's going to spread further and it's going to actually spread into my eye, irritate my eye, and really just make me miserable. So, everybody should remember, along your bone, not under your eye. And then we we'll do its magic. Last but not least, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite, 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 favorite tea bean mask. Guys, the bomb.com. Guys, this is hyaluronic acid but in the form of a water sleeping mask and it actually contains five types of hyaluronic acid in it. It's beautiful. And it's basically meant to keep your skin moist overnight as well as just form that moisture layer and like trap everything in. So based on that, you can apply this after your moisturizer. So now remember that you just applied caffeine solution to underneath your eyes. You should rinse your hands um, and then proceed with your mask you don't know how the caffeine and the hyaluronic acid would work together so 
you don't want to be mixing whatever leftover amount you might have on it okay same applies for when you put your acids on guys i'm gonna wake up with the most awesome skin this product's so good so good and i like to alternate my sleeping masks because obviously i don't need to exfoliate every day i mean my skin's not that terrible um i'd like to exfoliate every every week or so um with my liquid meal and then so two three days later i'll apply the pha acids on and then that will also act as an um, exfoliator and a hydration booster and then again two to three days later i'll apply something like my hyaluronic acid that works for me and on that note just remember that i'm trying to show you how to apply and um the easiest ways to apply the easiest steps in a skincare regimen or routine and all of these products work for my skin and they work really really well they also actually work for my mom's skin and they work for a friend of mine's skin but it may not work for your skin and that's okay so over time you will figure out what routine works best for you and you only so i've applied my wonderful sleeping mask um I've got a glow from it. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. My phone quality is not that good. But the point is, um, it's a wonderful glow, but it's not sticky and it's not greasy and it's just so beautiful. It's like I've got a glass skin. Last but not least, I just want to show you that if this was a daytime routine and I was not going to put any makeup, I would then apply some sunscreen and follow up with a lovely rose dewy glow. Um, alternatively, I would have applied my sunscreen, makeup, and then my rose dewy glow. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I just felt very inspired to share um, the do's and don'ts because, you know, you can actually rob your skin of like so much by just doing the wrong thing and you can just result in premature aging loss of elasticity loss of um just that plumpness and firmness of your skin by doing silly things that you may not have known and that's okay that's what i'm here for <laughs> so anyway i hope you've learned something and i hope that this has been a good educational video good night